Hey everyone, so in this episode we're going to talk about layouts. So as we did in the previous episode, if we go into our admin page and let's open up our admin main.js and let's just make quickly menu and let's give it zero, right? And here let's just make two paragraphs one will say orders and one will say stock let's say vf menu equals zero and for these two we'll say the same uh, v else directive instead say one two okay and on click set menu to zero copy this they stay here oh press insert and let's just do the same and let's run this after refreshing the script you can see that we can sort of bounce around between these menus but the main problem with that be if we want to later on then add something to these components it would be hard hard to maintain so you don't you do not want to go this sort of spa route if you're not using a full on spa features that view provides so this is not how you really want to build your layouts and build them from components what you want to do is you if you're utilizing view as just sort of a per page application so you're just going to have like multiple little view applications per page that's what the way you want to go to specify a different layout compared to your shop the one that you're going to be displaying is this is how you want to do it so let's go to our admin actually let's go to shared first let's copy our layout paste it into our admin and let's copy view start and paste it here as well let's rename the layout to admin layout and in our view start, we open it up, set the layout to admin layout. Okay, close that. We good. And now in our admin layout, let's just uh, rename this link to go to home. And all we need is just slash index. And let's do h3 admin panel. And let's give it a class of as text centered there we go so let's run this so as you can see if we go and switch sorry if we switch between the pages our layout changes so this admin button is present on our layout on our main layout and it's not present on this layout so it changes so this menu it's going to stay the same throughout so we really want it Keep it in our layout part right here. So let's do just that. Let's take our menu. Actually, let's take the whole outside bit. Go to our admin layout. And let's paste it into here. Let's take this part out with our uh, view components and let's paste our render body in there and remove the rest. Let's remove these from here. And instead, let's go ahead and put some links in here. Admin slash index. Let's do orders. And let's do stock. For now, we'll keep products in index. Later on, we might add a sort of like a overview page, but we'll keep it simple for now. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go into our index uh, page. Let's remove all of this. Actually, we don't even need our component anymore. So let's take all this stuff from the component and put it back into our index page. And let's fix our ads. Let's remove this script from here. Um, 
We can take the rest of the functionality from here. Cut it and put it back into our main .js. And let's remove the object that we return. Like so. Okay. And let's remove this file we don't need it anymore. All right. And our main JS, let's rename it to products.js. Okay. And here, let's do the same. products.js. Let's run this. Make sure everything works. Okay. Admin page. And there we go. We're on the admin panel. So now that we have our products, let's go ahead and implement the two views for our admin menu. Close that. Also in our admin layout, let's just quickly wrap this and put it in a container. So we have a little bit of padding on desktop views. Okay. And let's just quickly copy this as well. Remove the text from here, and we'll put this link down here. Back to main. So let's add a couple of new files. So Control Shift Eight. Let's add a razor page. Let's call it orders. Let's make another one and let's call it stock. Okay. Um, actually, we open stock real quick. I'll just put two headers here. This is stock, and in our orders, let's make this orders. Okay, let's run this, make sure that it works. Okay, nice. So let's quickly go into our uh, site.css file. This is general CSS that comes with it to, it comes with a template to sort of adjust the bootstrap, which really speaks about the bootstrap framework that you, you don't really want to, if you're using a CSS framework, you don't want to really be writing your own JavaScript. You want to configure the framework a little bit. So we're going to try to write no CSS in these tutorials. We're just going to rely on Bulma. Okay. So refresh that. Nice. Okay. So this will be it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you understand how multiple layout wor layouts work. Uh, if you, if you want a second page or like, let's say, Later on, we're going to be implementing a checkout process that's going to have a different layout as well. So we're going to be sort of revisiting this concept and uh, basically doing it again as practice. And again, and hopefully the main thing you take away from this is the whole lesson with, with view when you're not building a spot. Don't try to go component heavy. Try to just build an, an app per view. And then if you do need components, make them small, make them tiny, make them very reusable. If you just need to shorten your um, HTML, you can put that in a partial view and uh, the view code will still work on the partial view. We could technically put this in a partial view and we could put this in a partial view and have uh, two partial CS HTML pages here and we can invoke them from here, same way as this partial is invoked here. So we can just have this here and reduce the HTML that way. This will be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe. It will help out my channel a lot. Don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me how I'm doing. Tell me what I'm explaining well, what I'm not doing well. It will help me learn and uh, steer these tutorials in a better direction. Maybe I'm uh, going too fast, not explaining, you know, that kind of stuff. Just how you feel about these tutorials. Maybe you're, you're kind of going through them and you're still confused. And maybe you can leave a comment about what you're confused or 
and maybe I can clear that confusion up and later on in the future I'll remember that hey that guy used to be confused about this I better touch on this topic uh, if you have any questions just leave them there I'll try to answer them all and as always see you in the next episode